This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a brand new product from Sparrows that I am really excited about. This is the Sparrows Black Flag Dimple Pick Set, and it just became available on Sparrows' website for $39. I'll open this up and show you what's inside in just a moment, but first, I want to tell you why I'm so excited about it, and frankly why you should be as well if you pick dimple locks. My involvement with this set actually started about two and a half years ago. It was in late 2015 when I was doing a ton of dimple picking and getting increasingly frustrated with the terrible dimple picks on the market. It was at that time that I heard a rumor that Sparrows was developing dimple picks. So I reached out to them, hoping that I could help Sparrows avoid the pitfalls into which many other makers seem to stumble. That was the first of several emails back and forth over a couple of years in which I outlined my thoughts on what qualities superior dimple picks should have. And along the way, I also provided feedback on a couple of different prototype sets. Now, the single most important item on my list that I was hoping Sparrows would get right was that the picks needed rounded shafts. That's so they could rotate smoothly in the keyway. That may sound basic, but hardly any other dimple set has it. Most have, the, have either square or flat shafts that don't rotate, or if they do, they don't rotate smoothly. Here's a couple of examples. On the left, we have a Goso pick, which you can see has a square shaft. This rotates very poorly in tight keyways. And then we have a flat shaft on a Klom dimple pick. Now, not only does this have a problem with rotation, but it has the additional problem of lifting pins that you don't intend to pick. That's because when you rotate it, the back edge acts as the fulcrum and the front edge lifts up, lifting pins as well. That can be very, very frustrating. Another huge issue was sizing. Many sets have tips that are way too big to pick pretty much any lock that I've ever seen. This is a great example. It's a Chinese pick, which got most everything right, a slightly rounded shaft, nice handle. However, the scale is just way, way too big. I've pictured it next to a pick that I often use, and you can see how it could be very frustrating to put that into the keyway and try to isolate a single pin at a time. That also applies to shafts, by the way. You really need a very delicate shaft to make sure it doesn't get in the way of pins. And on this one, we have a much larger shaft that is almost always going to be in the way unless you have a really open keyway. So while I was being the annoying peanut gallery to sparrows, the real work was going on in Canada. There is a reason why there is a dearth of quality dimple picks on the market. They are not easy to make. The combination of round shafts and a finely shaped 90 degree flag is really tough from a mass production point of view. But Sparrows did navigate those choppy waters and here they are, the black flag dimple pick set. So let's take this out and see what you get. Okay, here they are. We get seven picks total and each one has a nice overmolded handle with a steel core. That steel core gives a nice heft and also a quality feel to these picks. The seven picks are offset left and offset right, then small offset left and small offset right, curved left and curved right, and then a small flat flag. It's a good selection that will handle the overwhelming majority of dimple locks out there. The shafts are rounded and quite fine, but even so very strong. I gave these a good workout before this video and had absolutely no issues with bending or breaking. The tips are also well sized and shaped, nothing too clunky, but also not too small to be overly weak. Then we have the tension wrenches. There's a selection of nine Z bars. And in video 319, I discussed why I think this shape is so good for dimple locks but I'll touch on it again briefly. Many locks have really wide open keyways like this multi-lock interactive. On locks like that, you have the issue of not only depth placement of your pick, but also lateral placement of your pick. That's where these tension tools come in. You can use a tension tool inserted properly as a guide for your dimple pick. So you never have to worry about lateral placement, only about depth placement. I find this does wonders for picking precision and makes opening dimple locks considerably easier. In any case, you have a selection of nine of them, which means you're probably not going to have any issues about finding one to fit your keyway. 
Finally, we have the case this comes in. There are two compartments, one for the tension tools and then one for the picks. And each pick has its own compartment cut out in foam. So you can put this in another case. For instance, I plan on putting a few of these in my Sparrow Sherman case, or if you wanna carry them around in something else, this will be very, very nice. In sum, we have what I believe is the best dimple pick set on the market right now. The only real competition as far as usability goes are the hand-finished picks sold by Spooks in Germany. In fact, that's what I've been using for the last two years. But all of that handwork comes at a price. A set of Spooks picks will run you about $100 or more than this Sparrow's Black Flag set. I don't mean to discount the work done by Spooks because they really do spend a lot of time making very nice picks, but it does show what a bargain these Sparrows picks are. In fact, I was surprised when I heard the price was $39. I was expecting it to be 50 to 100% more than that. So let's close by doing some picking. I have a couple of locks here. Let me get some, some tools. And I'll show you the real amazing part about these picks, and that is that you can use them to open locks right out of the box, which is something that is very, very rare for dimple picks. Okay, one is loose, two, click out of him and a false set. Number three, got a click out of him, four, counter rotation, he's set, five, counter rotation, he's set, Six, counter rotation, he is set. Back to the beginning, one counter rotation, and we got it open. So this is the IFAM Hano. There's actually been a whole lot of Chinese copies of this recently, but the original's a very nice lock. Let's do just one more. I have this Master Lock stainless steel dimple padlock here. I believe this was only sold in Europe. It has four spools and one serrated pin. A couple clicks out of one, went into a false set. Counter rotation on two, got him set, but we lost our false set, so go back to one. One and two are set. Got three set, Let's just keep going. Four, got him set. Five, back to the beginning. One drop down, and we've got it open. So, I think it is remarkable that any set of dimple picks out there can be used right out of the case. And because of that, I highly recommend these Sparrows Black Fag picks. It's not something I do very often, recommending any particular tools, but I think these are hands down the best on the market. So that's all I have for you today on these Sparrows Black Flag dimple picks. If you have any questions or comments about them, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.